What's going on guys? Today I have a really fun video in store for you. I'm gonna be breaking down five of my favorite, more high performing cross training shoes from the last two years. I have the Nike Metcon 6 here, Nike React Metcon Turbo, Reebok Nano 10, Under Armour Tri-Base Rain 3, and the Noble Trainer. All these models are great for tackling heavy lifting, the versatile ass of cross training, so I included them in this video because I also get asked a lot of questions on them. So I'm gonna break this video into a couple different categories. Our first category that's gonna compare these models is which shoe is best for lifting. So right off the bat, I think all of these shoes will be plenty stable for most lifters and athletes when it comes to lifting. However, I have lined them up in an order that I think is conducive to the most stable to the slightly more responsive yet still stable options. So let's break them down. So the Nike Metcon 6, in my opinion, is probably the most stable cross trainer up here. Now we do have that split insole in here. So we have the firmer heel material and then the slightly softer foam up here on the forefoot. Overall though, I don't think that really impacts the stability in this shoe. Some folks don't like it, but personally I never have an issue with the overall stability in this model. The second shoe is the Noble Trainer. This is fairly consistent throughout with their midsole and outsole construction. We see Kevin Oak squatting upwards of 600 and 700 pounds in the high top Nobles. So I think for most folks, they're gonna find that the Noble Trainer is plenty, plenty stable for their lifting. The third shoe is the Tribase Rain 3. With a two millimeter heel to toe offset and a pretty firm outsole and midsole material, this shoe I think is a really good bet for folks who want a slightly lower heel to toe offset and they love that booty and lower profile design of this model. The fourth shoe is the Reebok Nano 10. Overall, I think this is a very stable option as well. Now do note that there is that split material up here in the forefoot. So we do have a more high density foam up here in the forefoot versus back here in the heel. But overall, I think most lifters like the 10 because it is versatile yet very stable under a variety of lifts. The final shoe up here is the Nike React Metcon Turbo. This is the newest Metcon model. And the reason I put it last is because it does have the Nike React insole, which is a bit more responsive and cushiony compared to the six and all these other shoes. However, I don't think that's gonna be a huge issue. I have trained well up to 450 pounds in these shoes and they haven't really had an issue with stability. They are gonna be slightly more responsive. So do know they will not be as hardcore stable as some of these other options, but they're gonna be plenty stable across the board. And if you are a lifter that really likes that newer like reworked disassociation of the heel and forefoot outsole construction, you're gonna like this model. So overall, wrapping up my long-winded rant, I think all of these shoes are great for lifting. It's more so a matter of how you want that shoe to fit. I've filmed individual reviews on most of these models, so be sure to check those out. So now let's dive into versatility and slightly more dynamic workouts. So when I talk about versatility and dynamic workouts, please note that I'm referencing workouts that include things like plyometrics, potentially shorter runs, even sprints, agility focus work, accessory exercises, which shoe can tackle all these tasks pretty dang well in one workout. Now I will say, just like with lifting, because all these models are included in this video and I would call these all pretty much high performing models, they do all excel in this area. So there's gonna be slight differences in between them, but overall they're all pretty dang versatile. So down here we have the most versatile in respect to these five shoes and the slightly least versatile. So the first shoe I have is the Nike React Metcon Turbo. So three reasons why I included the Nike React Metcon Turbo as my number one pick is number one, that Nike React insole. I think it's very responsive and very reactive for things like plyometrics and sprints, etc. Feels very athletic on the foot. The second reason is the disassociation between the heel and forefoot. It gives this shoe a different level of maneuverability when it comes to the versatile aspects of various workouts. And the final reason is just the overall lightweight build of this shoe. It feels very athletic on the foot, almost like a track shoe in some respects, and that's why it took the number one spot. Now I will say, if you are considering rope climbs in your definition of versatility, this model is not gonna be the best for those, and I mentioned that in the individual review I did on this shoe. The second pick for versatility is the Reebok Nano 10. Now, this might be a little bit of a controversial pick when we look at how solid these other three shoes are, but two reasons why I gave this spot to the Reebok Nano 10 is number one, I love that split outsole construction and the meta split up here on the forefoot. This, <laughs> this shoe is great for multi-directional activity and you're able to get up on the toes fairly easily in this model. And with that forefoot midsole up here that is a slightly more responsive build, it is a bit more reactive in my opinion for things like plyometrics and shorter runs. The second reason why this model earned our second pick for versatility is just the overall durability. So 
with versatile workouts, we should be concerned a little bit with durability because we might be getting abrasion from things like rope climbs, dragging the toe on the ground. This shoe does a really good job at resisting abrasion and going the distance when it comes to overall upper construction durability. The third pick is the Under Armour Tri-Base Rain 3. So similar to the Nike React Metcon Turbo, I feel like this shoe fits very athletically. It is a slightly narrower fitting shoe. So if you do have a wider or flatter foot, again, this might not be the best model for you. But two reasons why I picked this model is the reactive nature of the outsole and midsole I think feeds really well into the lower offset of this shoe. So if you really wanna stay low to the ground and want a shoe to be really maneuverable with multi-directional activity and feeling light, this is a good build for you. The second reason is just the overall booty and low profile design. The shoe I think feels very much like an athletic fitting shoe, a track shoe in some respects, just like the Nike React Metcon Turbo. So when it comes to versatility aspects of workouts, I prefer that over other heavier cross trainers. The fourth pick is the Noble Trainer. Now, this shoe is decent for versatility. There's just no area where it like truly excels. It gets the job done. It is consistent across the board, but there isn't really anything that's like glaringly like, wow, the Noble is really great at that. It's solid across the board, but there isn't really one or two things that really jump out with the shoe. And I think that's what makes it so great in times is it's just very consistent, it's durable, and it feels fairly good throughout a variety of activities. The final pickup here is the Nike Metcon 6. Now, this is a decently versatile option, and honestly, this is probably the best option up here for things like rope climbs. So again, if you are factoring rope climbs into your definition of versatility, the Nike Metcon 6 excels at them. But the reason it didn't come up higher in my top five up here is just the overall heavy nature of it. The heel is very heavy, very stable. It doesn't feel as good for plyometrics. It doesn't feel as light on the foot. So it earned my final spot just because for me personally, when I think versatility, I want a shoe to feel very athletic. I want a shoe to be able to feel lightweight with a lot of the power and high velocity movements I'm doing. And the Metcon 6 just falls slightly short in that respect. So overall, that was a lot of talking. If you've made it this far, I love you. I appreciate you, but these shoes are all pretty dang versatile. Again, like with lifting, I would dive into the construction aspects that you want most when you're thinking about how you like to bias your versatile training on a weekly basis. The final category we are going to dive into is price and how cost efficient these models are. So down here we have the most cost efficient to the least cost efficient. So the Reebok Nano 10, some colorways are still sitting around $130 USD. However, you can generally shop around and find it for less. So look for different colorways across different retail outlets that have a nice markdown price. And I think this is gonna be your best budget friendly option. The second model is the Tribase Rain 3. At a cost of $120 USD, that's decent when it comes to newer cross trainers. It's not that big of a drop off to like more traditional $130. However, Under Armour does run sales fairly frequently, so you can usually find it for less than 120 if you're patient and you're constantly just checking to see if there are deals. The Nike Metcon 6, a lot of colorways are still full price, but again, like the Nano 10, you can shop around and find options that are less than $130 USD, but most colorways are still sitting at full price, which is a serious bummer. The Noble Trainers are pretty consistent across the board with $130 USD price point, and then the Nike React Metcon Turbo sits at around $150 USD, which makes it one of the least cost efficient cross trainers that I've at least personally bought in the last two years. So overall, that's my pricing breakdown for the shoes up here. If you are looking for deals and whatnot, shop around generally for older models, you can find markdown prices. And as always guys, I've linked all the shoes below. So check them out there if you are interested in any of these shoes. All right guys, that wraps up my comparison video of the Reebok Nano 10, Under Armour Tribase Rain 3, Nike Metcon 6, Noble Trainers, and Nike React Metcon Turbo. I'm not gonna lie to you, this video took so long to make, mostly because I had to rank all these shoes and make a case for each, and honestly, all these shoes are pretty dang great. They each have their own list of pros and cons. So, trying to make a definitive list for each of these shoes was really difficult. I don't know if I'm gonna ever compare five shoes again at once. I think I might cap myself to three moving forward. But as always guys, if you like the flow of this video or if you're like, dude, this video was all over the place, hit me in the comments below and let me know. And as always, drop a like to the video, drop a subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.